All right, it's like a bowling ball, but we're not going bowling. Actually, <laughs> let's play air hockey, right? Tell yeah, us about absolutely. where we're at. So we've got some air carriages here that help us simulate microgravity. It's about the best we can do here in the lab uh, in, uh, before going to the uh, lab and on in space, right, on, on the ISS. Uh, and we have these air carriages that have their own CO2 tanks. They create a cushion of air at the bottom. And like you said, it's like a reverse air hockey table where we have a cushion of air that keeps these things floating and they move in a near friction-free way so that things that get set going keep going, just like in microgravity. If you set something going, it's not going to stop until there's a force in the opposite direction. You know, New Newton's law, right? It keeps going until there's an a equal and opposite uh, force to keep stop it from going. I'm not going to lie. This has got to be one of the coolest places to work. Every, every little boy's dream, right? You guys I come in here and yeah. you, you play, but it's all in the name of science, right? I mean, just look at these toys, right? Uh, <laughs> we have a great time uh, working with these uh, investigations. And uh, we program them here in the lab. We test them out, make sure they work great. And yeah, wherever we can, we do uh, our own research, our own uh, investigations to look at what we can do in space, and that's a lot of fun. And, and there have been multiple uses of this on the space station, right? It's been there for years. Oh yeah, it's been up there for uh, six, eight years now, and uh, it's one of the most popular uh, payloads on the space station. It's educational, and mm -hmm. you're learning autonomous. We've got zero do. robotics, where even uh, middle school students are programming these things. Wow, uh, okay. using that makes me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have a great time. They they learn how to program these things. They're learning how to program for the first time, and then they get to uh, see these things operate their code from space in real time uh, on yeah, on live TV. So. Uh, they have a good time with that, and as well as the researchers from all around the country looking at different things that they could do in microgravity and on, in space, all kinds of unique uh, things that they can study and investigate using this platform. And, and, and this granite floor, I have to mention, a little splash of color, I like it. <laughs> Absolutely. I, in fact, it was a, a female member of our team that uh, chose that color for these uh, next generation of CO2 tanks we're sending up to the space station uh, to differentiate them from the original ones, which are actually gray, grayish, boring looking. Now, you, you'll uh, say, you, you say that when they get to orbit, you won't really see the pink, but right. you can't distract the astronauts too much. Right? Well, once screwed into the uh, spheres, you're, you're, you're not going to see the pink, but uh, when they exchange the tanks, uh, they can tell they're very pink, and, and it also helps us from the ground uh, locate them on the video, uh, the, the pink tanks. Well, I can't wait. Can we race these right now? I mean, I just yeah. can't wait another let's, second. Let's go. All right, let's do Come it. Come on. Give me the other one. Here it comes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.